Hi, in today's episode, I'd like to build a new fixture plate for my CNC router. Now I have a vise on my machine every now and then, and it's too tall. And I like to use a mod vise, and for that I need a new fixture plate that I'm going to make. You see a fixture plate and a mod vise right here. So this one here is from Soundos Machine Works. If you are in business of buying a plate, I really can recommend that you go to his webpage and check that out. For one, he has a great selection of different sizes, and makes even custom sizes. And number two, they are accurate and have a good price. Now, I'm gonna like to make my own and, or an additional one that is my own. And I have the raw material already prepped right here. And I'm gonna use the super glue and tape method to hold it on my table. Yeah, let's get started. And I also have a couple of tips and pointers like I always do. I promise you four tips to make a good fixture plate. surface finish, rather happy with that result. This right here is about 0.4 millimeter of a chamfer and I think I'm going to redo this a little bit bigger, but instead of reposting the G-code, I'm just gonna go ahead and cheat on the Z heights, and I'm just gonna set the bit a little bit deeper and rerun the same program. Okay, much better. This is now 0.8 millimeter of a 45 degree chamfer. I like that much better. Looks good now. Happy. Okay, here comes tip number one and two. For the material, if you choose aluminum, make sure it is a cast plate. The cast plate is free of stress and it will stay flat after machining. Tip number two is you want to make the holes through holes. Don't use any blind holes they will just accumulate the ships and they are a real headache to get out, especially out of the threads.
So what you see here are the holes for the shoulder bolt to fit in. And now we have to go all the way through the plate to produce the core diameter 8.8 millimeter for the M10 thread. Okay, tip number three and four. So you can get away with half the thickness of the plate if you do not combine the locating section and the threaded section in one hole. You can make one hole for locating, one hole threading, one locating, one threading, and that way you can use half the thickness of the plate. And the next one is that I give every single hole a name. So I have A, B, C, D, and one, two, three, four. So that way I can go back if the plate is in the same position on the table, then I also can go back with my fixture in the same position that I already have in the program. to be really happy if we can make this fit right on the first trial without reworking anything. Just a test right here. So um, I hope that I didn't make the tolerances too tight because the shoulder bolt will engage in the fit right here so the hole that is in the fixture plate, but it also will engage in the top portion here in a hole in the top portion of the table. And then the threaded portion is under that. And I'm not quite sure. Well, that screws in. Okay. This is on, I um, can't believe it, this fits. I like it, I love it. Oh, this is so cool. Yes, yes, it works. Um, very nice. Well, I'm, I'm happy with this right now. This, is, this looks good. I, I was hoping that these fit, but I wasn't quite sure because there's only a few hundreds of a millimeter tolerance between the shoulder bolt and the top plate. That worked out good. Well, I hope you got some 
useful information out of this video. There is also a project description on my webpage that I will upload later on. And um, I can tell you that I'm really happy how this turned out dimensionally. Uh, my machine starts to be more and more accurate with all of the improvements I made. I can tell you the thickness actually is off by two hundredths of a millimeter throughout the entire plate. And the fit for the shoulder bolt of the 12 millimeter holes here, uh, the shoulder bolt is three hundredths uh, undersized. And this is a nominal dimension of 12, so it fits in perfect. Totally love that. Um, yeah, came out great. So now I need just my own version of a vise. I think I am uh, going to do that next or a tool touch of probe, one of the two. I'm not quite sure yet. So I hope I can catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye.